All right, so here we are for our fourth and final round, and this is going to have to be a mulligan. And I guess this is a keep. All right, so we finally found some draws where the deck is lackluster. Where you just don't have the guys and mulligan. So <clears throat> it's important that, you know, we actually see some bad draws to <laughs> not jump off the deep end and be like, I'm taking this to GP Toronto. All right, so I think we just have to shove on all our guys. I don't really know how we're going to win without... All right, well, that might not be an option. Probably not this. This card kind of sucks without the rest of your team. I mean, it's just a morph. <laughs> like, like our options are playing two different types of morphs on turn three. One that can flip over and one that is just green. You definitely see Sirach being the, the choice. Oh, just took the Dead Protector. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I don't see any option. We're just going to have to shove on a, a naked Reverend Hunter. Yep. Guess we could have protected it. Should have protected it. Shouldn't have F6'd. to not pay for that. Just slam an Ojutai so we can concede. Yeah, we are not beating that Ojutai. Alright. We can't even race it. Can't interact with it, can't race it. Alright, so we're going to be bringing in those, those, and the collected companies. Cards that we don't want. under the impression that this card is bad. I might be wrong, and people might disagree with me, but I just... I feel like it's good against decks where you want Trample. Like, both of these are just cards that are good against people that are blocking, but, like, they're not going to be good where they need to be. And Aspect feels bad, and we'll take out one Gather. I think I think I like keeping the Gathers because they protect us from Drown and Sorrow and Bioblades. So, that seems fine to me. And yeah, we'll just do that. <clears throat> Maybe we won't be on the mulligan, so our draw is sweet. Alright, so we'll pick the play, and I guess we'll keep it. It's not great, but uh, I don't feel like it's a mulligan. We have some really good cards. If we draw a 2-drop, it's perfect. And we do have 11 in our deck. Their opponent tanking on. No tap lands is sweet. I just want to jam it right here. Force the double island action. <coughs> this way both these have to be islands, so if they draw an island, they can't just play an island and then crack one for a different colored source. I 
Then we'll just play Elvish Mystic and uh, Reverend Hunter. Well, I guess we could just... No, I don't want to play Sarak into Edict. going to counter this. Oh, into the thoughts is gross. Yeah, that's gross. I like the lands that he's that they use. See, these aren't the normal selections I see most people have, but the art's pretty cool. It's not as good as our, you know, completely different forests. There's our beautiful card. We're just going to attack here. If nothing happens, just play the Boon Seder. And if something happens, we'll just play Collected Company. If, like, Haven comes down and Ojuta gets cast. Because there's four cards in the graveyard, I think we have to play the Boon Seder. I guess we could Collected Company into the counter spell. That way we can just jam boons at our attack for 7 next turn. I don't know if that's better. Nah, we'll just cast this. Interesting. Happens. Take damage, and we just have to say go. Gonna have to cast one of these at the end of turn, no matter what. Ooh, we have choices. Enters the battlefield with plus one plus one each creature control. So that's not going to happen. But we still should take this and that. <clears throat> Do you think they have the second crux? Because I don't. Wait, is it only what is it for each other creature control the plus one? Oh, I thought you get it for each counter. <laughs> I just figured that out. <laughs> I would not have done that into Bioblight Mana. Oh no, really? Oh, that's gross. Can't even attack into that. Ugh. I do not think we're beating that. Oh, I could have played around it, though. Didn't even think about it. Could have just said go there two guys and collected company. I just did not expect dragon that dragon lord. Yeah, 
I don't really know how to get out of this now. Sorak maybe? That's definitely not it. Alright, well we just attack with this guy. See what happens. Makes sense. Think through time. <laughs> Finally realized why when you play Mono Green you sometimes feel awful because this feels terrible. No outs to kill this. Just have to actually attack through it. Well, oh, that's that's potentially an out. If our opponent has nothing, if opponent taps out for an Ojutai, we can tap deck Zerk. We're in a little more trouble. Your turn, sir. Would you like to cast Dig Through Time again? I feel like you might. Or that. Let the beats come. I don't like how our opponent is <laughs> stuck on six mana. That's not good. Hucha! Elvish Mystic, go! Win us the game! Do it for us! Huh! Huh! Game <laughs> win! Might, might as well keep this back. Save yourself from the Elvish Mystic Mono Green deck. He saw it. I keep that song car back. <laughs> ah, he saw the line. Let's see if he attacks with both creatures now. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> Alright, guys. Oh, we have to wait. Oh, okay. Alright, well, finally took the loss with the green deck, and it made sense. Uh, Could have played around uh, Dragon Lord Slumgar, but didn't. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I'm going to wrap it up now, and I will see you guys later this week. Bye.